Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this endless vortex. First, select the ellipse tool and draw a big circle. Next, copy the circle and align its center with the top of the original circle. Press the letter R for the rotate tool and while holding down the Alt key, click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Set the angle to 15 and then click copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys 22 times to create additional copies. Select this circle and delete it. Next select everything and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Select any color for the fill and create this shape. Zoom in and make sure to include this part in the selection. Select a different color and create this shape. Switch to the magic wand tool and then click on any black stroke to select the grid. Now press the delete key on your keyboard. Select everything and set the stroke to none. With everything selected, press R to activate the Rotate tool. Holding down the Alt key, click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Set the angle to 30 degrees and then click Copy. Now press Ctrl and D keys 10 times to make additional copies. Select everything and group it together. Next, create a copy, zoom in and align it with the center of the original shape. With the copied shape still selected, press the letter O for the Reflect tool. Hit Enter and set the axis to Vertical. Click OK. Select everything and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Now we will create new shapes. Having a sketch for reference is helpful. Using the Direct Selection tool, click on the yellow shape to change the fill color. Select everything and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Now continue connecting the remaining shapes. I'm going to speed up this video, but you should take as much time as you need. And we are basically done. When we turn on the outline mode, you will notice that we have many short and wanted paths. To refine your design, use the direct selection tool to select and delete unwanted paths. We can also use the lasso tool instead to select several paths at once.
Avoid accidentally selecting and removing entire shapes. When you are finished, turn off the outline mode. If you like to change the color, first select everything and then go to Recolor Artwork. Double click on the color you would like to replace and choose a different color. Click OK. And let's change the other color as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.